Tough afternoon for us. Give Maryland a lot of credit. I thought they played really well. Made things very difficult for us around the basket. And uh, you know, not being able to score eventually sort of overwhelmed us a little bit. It's a fine line on the road. You got to make all the little things kind of go your way when things aren't going well on one end. And we played hard for the most part. Our defense kind of hung in there, but some long rebounds and some loose plays really changed the game broke it open and then from the breakout point, you know, we weren't able to really make anything happen offensively to, you know, hang in there. And then the defense, the offense, being able to break the game open and get that type of a lead, uh, kind of showed you a 10 minute mark after. It was just, it's too hard to hold off, but we got to keep playing hard. Wednesday night's a big one for us at home. And in this league, you're, you're, in, a, you're in a deep ocean, man. There's a lot of waves. You're going to have to ride them out and figure out how your group can survive it and keep moving forward. And for us, that's, that's the way it is. I can't complain about our guys and their approach and what we're doing. Uh, just got really, really stuck, uh, so, to, so to speak, at one stage of the game, not being able to score. And uh, you know, coming out of halftime, being able to hang in there again. Uh, but a couple 50-50 plays and a couple things that just broke their way really broke the game open. Jeff, what do you think? What do you feel are leading to the, these long scoring droughts you guys are experiencing? The ball's not going in the basket. Whether it's a layup, whether it's a free throw, or whether it's a wide open shot. At some point you have to be able to put it in the basket. And we got enough guys that can do that. Certain teams gotta struggle to find their way. We gotta get a more quality three in the game. And our backcourt's gotta be able to create more off the dribble on those threes. They gotta be able to get assists. You gotta, those are the ones you're going to make when you draw the defense. Not challenge twos, not 50-50 plays at the basket. It's the ones that you break the defense down and your guards are able to create. We get more threes that way. We've got to go to the line more, and we got to keep going to the line and making it. And then in and around the basket in this league, moving forward from January till February, there's not going to be one easy. Okay? There's no calls. There's no, that's not happening. So you've got to be able to finish through contact and put some down. And, we didn't have that, uh, you know, for the most part of the night. I mean, we shot for the game. What did we shoot for the game? 36%. We shot 26% in the first half. And it was a one for seven from three, but we're seven for 23 from two. Not making it at any level. So step up and make it. We can do it. You know, one thing is you can't just overcomplicate it and make it harder than this. You just got to keep working at it. I guess to that point, is there any concern with just maybe guys when it's not going in, getting a little bit too rushed, maybe losing a little bit of conviction in, in keeping it simple offensively? No, I don't think so. I think, you know, at the end of the day, we've gone through some tough stretches here offensively, but it didn't impact our defense for a good portion of the game. Um, our rebounding kind of caved in at one point in time when we did actually did get some stops. You know, they probably got three or four rebounds on two possessions in the game. But, at some point, you have to continue to compete. You have to continue to play tough and play through it. And, you know, at the 10-minute mark, 12-minute mark, it's an 8, 10-point game, 12-point game. You're right there. You just kind of stay with it. You can't let the floor sort of fall out on, on a couple of plays and then let it become a problem. But, uh, teams change throughout the course of the season. Our team's going through one right now. We've got to find our way to get back out of it. We'll do that. And then, uh, you know, the league's a long league season. There's a lot of teams that are going to lose by one, lose by 20, whatever it is. You've got to navigate the road. And that's what we're trying to do right now. So, uh, in terms of Maryland's defense, it seemed like they, they locked down at, at that point in the first half when you were up five. And, uh, and then in the second half when you had come back and, and made it a close game. What about their defense makes it as tough? Or was it just you guys in the next no, you have to give them credit. I mean, their game plan, you know, is in, in what it was. But they got a great shot blocker at the basket in, in Jalen. He impacts a lot. Uh, you know, they bring in the big fellow off the bench now. He impacts some things around the basket. And they're long. They're their guards. They're wings. They're old Wiggins. Those guys, they're, they're long. They're athletic. They do a really good job of keeping their man in front of them for the most part. And they stay right in the scene. So it's, you know, it's tough to score in around the basket. Our defense didn't create any easy ones. 
you look at them, I think seven turnovers. The points off turnovers is 25 to nine. So on the road, you got to find a way to get some easy ones. And our defense didn't create any easy ones as well. But from their defensive standpoint, they had great length, they keep you in front, they're not getting too exposed out there. And uh, for us, you know, they choose to you know, sort of pack it in at different positions. But we got some good looks. I mean, we got some point blank stuff around the basket in both halves. We needed them to go down. We didn't. And we got to find a way to knock those in as they move forward. Last question. Uh, against Wisconsin, it's very similar to blowout loss. Now, now in two Big Ten road games, you've had blowout losses each, each, each time. After Wisconsin, you talk about confidence and bouncing back from that. Is that different this time, or is you going to get to some of the same kind of you know, two different scenarios. Obviously, losing games is losing games. But there are certain ways you do it. And, uh, I don't think you watch this game at all and say that our defense allowed as many easy baskets or easy shots. I think we were in the game for the most part with our defense. Um, offensively, you know, I think up until maybe the last four minutes, which really doesn't count offensively, we were about one for 18, 19 for three. I don't know what it was. One for 17 for three now on the road. And you're not going to. You're not going to just hold teams down and shut them down for, for periods of time. You've got to be able to make some of those open ones and make some of the tough ones. I mean, that's what teams do to overcome. You've got to make some shots. And, uh, you know, Maryland's field goal percentage wasn't very good today when you really think about playing at home at 38% and 25 from three. With that type of lead, you know how bad you have to be on offense? You don't have to score for like 10 straight minutes. I mean, you 38%. And 25 percent. If you had told me coming in, hey, okay, Maryland would shoot at home. Those percentage, you'd say, eh, probably got a chance to hang in there a little bit today. And we did for a while, and then it sort of caved in. So we'll go from there. There's a lot of room for this team to continue to grow up and figure things out. Uh, I do think that we'll be a more confident shooting team on Wednesday. Thanks, coach. Thank you.